Uh, welcome to the CS Pro. So in this Python tutorial, you are going to learn that how to make a sky map of a uh, for a given object with array and deck or the other position, say x y position. So basically, your uh, data projection map in which suppose an object have position position as a array and deck. Uh, such as your x and y position so basically your array is like your uh, whole uh, uh, circle divided into 360 degree and so in this uh, position map we have given to geo to 180 degree plus and geo to minus, minus 80 degree minus okay and similarly deck has, has been given for north uh, uh, northern uh, sphere as a G to 90 degree and for southern hemisphere it is given as 0 to minus 90 degree okay so basically this is like useful uh, in constructing like astronomical objects map in the sky where objects have been given array deck and by plotting on that projection map you can see where your object lies whether it is in northern or southern uh, sky uh, map so these things we have to do using a python code so let's do it okay so for doing it let's import some libraries so import libraries so i will import numpy so import numpy as As MP, then you can import matplotlib for plotting. So pyplot as plt, and then I will import a random module. So import a random. So this will like take care of your array and numbers operations, and this will take care of your plotting and this will like generate random number generate uh, random numbers right now what i will do i will now uh, define array and deck uh, for plotting a top projection uh, in a sky uh, map so i will define here array equal to I will say np dot uh, random dot rand rand int and suppose I want to give my array from so array goes from minus one eighty to one eighty right so I will go from minus one seventy nine to one seventy nine and suppose I want to uh, give two fifty data points. So you can see your array is random integers in that range and it is 250. Similarly, you can define your deck equal to uh, sim length and deck you can give from as 89 to uh, 89 because maximum is plus 90 and minus 90 right now we have to plot the projection right so this is like array of a sky objects and this is deck right so deck of a sky object now create it of projection map right right and now we will create 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 your it of projection map for that i will type here plt dot subplot and i will give my projection equal to a top 
and then I will type here PRT dot scatter x com array command deck right array and deck and then PRT dot show now run the code so here you can see that you can see a uh, like very simple eight of position map you can see that this is your array this is your deck this uh, year to 90 degree and year to minus 90 degree for northern and southern uh, hemisphere respectively and this is your uh, array right, right from 0 to 180 degree plus and minus right so you can also put the grid to visualize more so plt dot uh, grid and you can see here you can also make grid color equal to something say you can make it color equal to uh, green okay so here you can see that now grids have been mapped with your uh, green color and your uh, data has been mapped with your uh, say your uh, dots right so this way you can make your a uh, simple it of positional map right can give title of this plt dot uh, title and call it as a it of projection so, right and similarly you can give your x and y level so Type priority dot x level. So x level is your array and priority dot y level is your deck right. So you can see this is your array, x x is your array, and this uh, this uh, is your deck okay deck is near in your degree and array is also in the uh, degree right you can also change the size if you want so, so size you can make it say 150 and you can give marker equal to you can give marker equal to a star so what is <coughs> right so can see objects are like marked with the star you can also give different color color you can make it say red <coughs> so here you can see that how i mean basically it is that where your object in the sky appears it has longitude and latitude uh, both uh, map corresponding to your array and deck right can also give label if you want so label you can give label you can give say a star and your plt dot legend so it will show that these are the stars in this projection right You can also like give different colors to this uh, color you can give say red or maybe you can give green color here you can also give green color also give font size if you want font size <laughs> Once you can give say 30 so to like appear uh, more bigger and same thing you can give here so this way you can construct a eta projection right you can also give bit color to black so this is like our a simple eta position of the sky map of a object with given array and deck right so this way you can create 
So basically this map is like beautiful heaven. We have a data from the telescope or a survey and you want to see where uh, your object lies on your sky map whether it is in northern uh, sphere or southern hemisphere so this way you can uh, visualize your uh, object position using data projection so here is the code it is a simple code and here is the result so i hope uh, you got the idea that how to make data projection a sky map uh, for a given array deck of the sky objects Thank you.